Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you the isError function. So isError function is useful to capture if your formula or your expression is reporting an error. Also by checking this you can decide an alternate option let's say if you are using uh, a multiple lines expression where you want to evaluate this within the if like if it is an error then you know what should be an alternate operation. So for that first of all identifying is error how you can configure it is useful. So what I'm doing over here is creating a dummy scenario to capture or to show how you can uh, utilize or how you can configure your if error function. All right with that uh, just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel then uh, this sheet which is a live Google sheet for this the link which is this link is present in the description with this link you can come over here search any of my previous videos or dashboards that I have produced and jump to that using the link which is present in column B so all of these videos uh, with the title is present that way you are searching for the relevant video is useful so make sure you bookmark this and uh, use it whenever you need and since it is a live sheet you will always have it most up to date. Okay, with that information, let me go to the Power BI. Okay, so what do we have here is basically a simple table, which is name, age, uh, we were, I have shown it how you can find the blank, blank with if, then we have sales and baseline. This is the new two columns that I have created for this. And as you can see with the name Vishal, I'm saying, okay, this is what the sales is. But let's say your table is supplying the wrong baseline or like what should be the minimum sales for example let's say a uh, thousand dollars or thousand rupees let's say for example this should be the base so and we want to find the percentage to the baseline right so in that case if let's say we want to divide the sales by the baseline it will going to generate an error so in those type of a scenario we need to basically be able to capture that and uh, do the alternate oper operation okay so with for that I will just show you how you can capture it by creating a new column and we will have to simply say is error equals to is error. So first of all what the basic configuration really looks like and uh, in case of is uh, here we need to identify the is error uh, used by providing the value. So in our case the value is what the so value is sales divided uh, by the baseline so we will say sales divided by the baseline right and if I just press enter it will return true for everything because any value you divide by zero will going to generate an error if you want to see what is that error is then I will just copy this copy and I will create a new column and I will simply say this error and paste it this here and this is what the error is so you divide any number by zero become it returns infinity like the infinity sign is coming and if it is zero you are dividing by zero then it is saying not a number which is also an error so in both these cases it is identifying that this is an error not a true value that's why you are getting true now once you have this is error you can always wrap it inside the if if it is an error right then what should you do you do this otherwise let's say you want to just return the sales okay so with that you will going to get whatever it is so if it is if it is let's say error then wherever the wherever the output is you say you are saying zero so zero is coming otherwise if it is a normal value it will give you the sales that way you can handle the error uh, using the is error function. So that's mainly I wanted to show you how you can capture your error uh, using the is error function or if you want to wrap it inside if then you can specify the alternate operations as well. With that thank you so much for watching and I will meet you in the next video with a new topic.